Hi, today I'm going to do a really gorgeous, glittery, glossy, sparkly eye. This is the most beautiful look for any party you're going to be going to, especially for New Year's Eve. You can do this look in any shade you like. I'm going to do purple because I think it suits my model Alexandra really well, so I hope you like it. I've already primed Alexandra's eyes, so I'm going to go straight into colour. I've mixed together the purple and the black shades from the Maybelline 24 Hour Colour Tattoo. First patting on the colour. Just keep building the colours, adding more layers. Up to and beyond the socket line. This is going to set and make a really good base layer for the glitter. Next, I'm just going to start to soften those edges with a powder shadow. This is a slightly iridescent purple colour by Sigma. So I'm just applying a little bit of that around the edges to soften and blend. I'll do more blending of this edge later on, but this sort of just starts off the blending process. Now I'm using the MAC Fluid Line Black Track with a small brush, really working it all the way along the upper lash line. and then taking it along the lower waterline. I'm using this smaller blending brush with some of the mixture from before, so I've got some of the black and purple colour tattoo. I'm going to use this just to smudge all along the lower lashes. Onto the glitter, this is the Urban Decay Glitter Liner ACDC, which is a great purple shade. Initially, I'm just using it as a liner to pat on top of the black line. Then using a clean brush, I'm going to start to dab it onto the centre of the lid. Because it's sitting on top of the cream base shadow which is now set, and this glitter liner will also set, none of this should move. Just really building up the glitter slowly, working towards the brow bone. Next on the eyes, I'm going to use this pigment by MAC, which is a really glittery amethyst, a really lovely lilac shade. And dab that at the inner corner to add dimension. I'm also going to add a touch of this just above the socket line to further soften that edge. Then some of the same colour underneath at the inner corner, working out which I'll blend in once I've done foundation and concealer. OK, I'm going to clean up the skin and prepare for foundation. I'm going to use the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. Using a shade which is a little bit darker than Alexandra's face because I want to match up with her jawline and neck. Now I'm going to use some illuminating concealer to lighten up the area underneath her eyes. And the same thing around the mouth and at the sides of the nose. Alexandra's lucky enough to have naturally curled lashes, so it's straight onto mascara. I'm applying plenty at the roots and then through the lower lashes. So for brows, I don't want them to be too strong, so I'm going to use some brow powder just gently through to define. Now I'm going to use this e.l.f. bronzing palette. I'm going to mix all the shades together and apply along the cheekbones to softly give some definition to the face. I really think we need some pink blush now. This is a really pretty Rimmel one. And it's going to really bring the face to life. For lips, I'm going to start with a lip liner. Just keep smiling for me, Alexandra. I'm going to go along the lower lip first to give you a slightly fuller pout and then I'm going to buff it all across the lips. The lipstick I've chosen for this look is a pinkish nude and it's Cheryl by L'Oreal. So I'm just going to apply this with a lip brush.
As a finishing touch, I'm going to add this pale pink loose glitter by Too Faced as a highlighter. This is really, really pretty. Let's sweep it onto the upper cheekbone. Centre of the top lip. The inner corner of the eyes. And the brow bone. So that's the finished look and it is definitely party ready, glittery gorgeousness. <laughs> <laughs>